Okay, while I was setting these base cabinets, I turned my wife loose on the electrical in the house, so she'd gone around and changed all the receptacles and switches, trimmed everything out. And then when I was finished, I went ahead and finished all the rest of the rooms, hanging the fixtures, ceiling fans, and things of that nature. We've got the countertop crew that's supposed to be here tomorrow. It's Tuesday. We spoke with them and finalized everything last Friday and they came out and made their templates. They were supposed to start cutting yesterday and they should be here tomorrow. So they're going to work on this, this other vanity, and then I've got one more, sh one more thing I'm going to point out. Uh, we were going to go with a Santa Cecilia builder's grade and we went to the yard and actually found a smaller slab. I think it was a standard grade, not or two up of uh, Dallas White and it was just enough to do this job and since it was a small slab for a small project they gave us builders grade price so not too bad. Well this is a vanity top my wife picked up at Restore for 65 bucks it came with a drop in oil rub bronze sink, oil rub bronze fixtures, pieces of backsplash this was one that was set in a corner and it just had two pieces of backsplash. Ours is going in an alcove, but this is just big enough to cut that profile off and it will fit right in there like it was made for it. The downside is we didn't have enough backsplash material and I inadvertently snapped one of them in two. But while we were over at the granite yard, my wife dug around in their scrap and found in the corner of their warehouse a lot of backsplash material that you would swear came off the same vein when they were cutting this out or at least 10 or 15 feet over. It's got the exact colors they're just the saturation on them is just a little bit different. There's more blacks in this one and more browns in this one but it is the same type of stone. So for a hundred bucks they're gonna give me enough material they're gonna make up the backsplash they're gonna cut this set it done deal well worth it for me to let them do that because I don't have the blades to cut it why buy one and I of course don't have everything to polish edges I may later but right now I do not so that will be money well spent so we're gonna be hundred and sixty five dollars in this all said and done fixtures and all aside from hooking up the drain and the water supply not a bad deal well, alright the granite countertops have been installed they did a really good job nice clean work they did have to cut back into the wall some to get the slab in there no big deal the backsplash is going to cover all that up went with an undermount sink in the kitchen drop-ins in the vanity uh, the fixtures are just sitting here I've got to do all the plumbing here and hook all that up uh, I guess that things have changed to where they're primarily using at least around these parts uh, three centimeter granite instead of two centimeter so what I'm used to seeing is three-quarter slab and then a laminated piece underneath that hangs down a little bit which is why the original cabinets were done here uh, this apparently is the new way to go but because these old carcasses were not perfect and all that it doesn't look very good under here one option would be to run a bead of caulk around there but I think to doll these up a little more, we're going to put a small cove under here. I'll get some material painted up, nail it on, and then finish it out. And that'll just dress it up a little bit more. Uh, but overall, the kitchen is really looking like a finished product now. I went ahead and pulled all the doors off because I knew they were going to be in here banging around. So they wouldn't damage them. I'll put them back after the flooring goes down. All right, well here's a quick shot of this vanity wrapped up. They did a good job on it as well. The sink is just sitting here. I've got to set it in and then of course do all the plumbing on it. All right, well here's a quick shot of the used vanity that's been put in along with the backsplash material my wife found out there in their yard. The back piece was not long. They didn't have one long enough to span that distance. So I had them seam it right behind the faucet so it'll help mask it. Uh, but all in all, it turned out nice as well. 
Well, we've had some really warm weather blow in. It's about 60 degrees, so we've kind of shifted outside to work on these decks. I can't go out there because it's really windy and my camera won't pick it up very well, but this particular deck here, it's about an inch and a quarter low on this side, and it jets downhill way too much away from the house, probably about an inch and a half. It only needs a slight amount of fall to shed the water off. So I'm basically just going to tear everything off, leaving the posts, and then rebuild it back. All right, well, I finished this deck. It's another super windy day, so I can't do any speaking outside. So I'm just gonna walk out there. You'll have to bear with the wind, and I'll show you the end results. What I can say is he only, he only had two joists going across here, and they were about 32 inches on center, way too far apart. So when I rebuilt it, I put put them every 16 inches like they should be. So, here we go. The wind died down a little bit. Nothing extravagant, just simple. All right, well, I'm going to start working on this one here. I'm hoping to get it finished today. It's just in bad shape. Well, that's the before. All right, well, this deck's finished. It's kind of windy again. I changed its shape a little bit. It originally came off the edge of the trim and the steps were straight down as well. There was no overhang so I made it a little bit bigger and wrapped it around to give it a little bit better of an appearance. Uh, all in all, it turned out pretty good. Alright, well here's a sample of the flooring that's going down. This is a strand bamboo hand scraped. I'm not sure of the color but it's really deep and rich. I brought it into one of the bedrooms just to kind of give an example on how it's going to look finished out. We're actually having this installed rather than me do it. I know I can, I just didn't want to. But after dealing with this installer, maybe I should have. I don't like talking ill about people, but this guy's a nightmare. I cannot wait to get him out of my hair. I'm not going to go into detail on it. I would have fired him long ago. But I'm already on the hook with him because I've deposited funds. He was going to get the carpet installation. Not anymore. I've already got someone else lined up to do that.